Okay, hi there. In this short revision video, we're going to look at four different types of demand, and they are effective, derived, composite, and joint demand. Four types of demand which will figure on your exam syllabus, typically in year one micro. So here we go. First of all, effective demand. So effective demand is demand from, from people, from consumers, from households, that is actually backed up with an ability to pay. Only if demand is actually reinforced by an ability to make the purchase does demand become effective or realised or actual. And we make a distinction between effective demand, which is driven by people's real purchasing power, compared to potential or latent demand. I'd love to own a yacht, perhaps fly first class to Sydney, but that's latent demand for me. It's not necessarily within my budget at present times. So effective demand is backed up with an ability to pay, and only then... If you can pay the market price, does demand become effective in the marketplace? Our second type of demand is derived demand. So derived demand is typically when the demand for a factor of production, a factor of input, um, is linked to the demand for the goods and services to which that input will be put. Take, for example, steel. The demand for steel is strongly linked to the number of new buildings, new homes being built. It's also linked to the market demand for cars and, and light vehicles. Wood is another good example. Wood is a product where a lot of the demand comes from the uses to which wood can be, can be put, such as furniture or fencing. Demand for labour in the labour market is clearly a derived demand. So, for example, if more people are flying, an increase in demand for air travel will lead to an increase in the demand for airline pilots and related employment in the, in the travel sector. Uh, good, good examples, the growing use of e-cars is going to increase the demand for charging stations. There's a derived demand. And of course, increasingly, as, as more and more devices are internet or web enabled, the rapid expense of the internet of things, those products then create a derived demand for cloud service space. So derived demand, when the demand for a factor of production is based on linked to the demand for another good or service. Now related to that is joint demand. So what is joint demand? A well, joint demand is when demand for one product is positively related to the market demand for a related good or service that is complementary. So fish and chips, smartphones and apps, strawberries and cream, and in the transport sector, flights and taxi services. Two complements. These are good examples of complements, yes. They're said to be in joint demand. And a quick reminder that the cross price elasticity demand for complements is negative. If the price of fish goes down, people buy more fish. And uh, ordinarily, they will buy more chips. Um, so those are good examples. Another really good example is the sort of market for 3D printers. As, as, uh, as, the, as we move towards additive manufacturing, the demand for 3D printers is growing. As more people are, are buying and installing 3D printers, so too there's a kind of joint demand for the, the materials which 3D printers use to manufacture products. So that's our third demand, joint demand. Here's our fourth and final demand in this video composite demand so composite demand is best defined as where goods have more than one use and typically an increase in the demand for one product leads to a fall in the supply of another so if we think about milk for example milk can be used for cheese for for yogurts for cream for butter it can even be used for other products including fertilizer which could be used in making chocolate as well so milk has a composite demand. Another example is land. Farmland can be developed in many different ways to grow different crops or move away from crops towards arable farming, uh, to, towards livestock farming or towards golf courses, etc. Urban land, if you're a geographer, will know urban land has many different uses. Urban land has a composite demand. Oil is also used in many different industries such as plastics. So that's the out of composite demand. So we've been through four types. We've been through effective, uh, composite demand, derived demand, and joint demand. All of these can be found, more details, more notes can be found on our website, of course. But I hope you found this, uh, this little video useful for looking at different types of demand.